Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're going to continue uh, figuring out my rat problem. Let's do this real quick. So the other day, I went and sealed up some holes where I knew the rats were getting in through. That's one benefit of winter, is I can see the tracks. And that's how this all started. Watch a couple video back. Actually, look in the description, and I'll put all the videos so you can kind of see the progression of what's been going on. But I use this stuff. I think this stuff is aluminum. The rat chewed through this stuff. So I went and turned to this stuff instead. So I put that stuff out and then I saw tracks in the snow again and I, I took, cause it, it, it's getting warm out so the snow is melting, so I took a bunch of snow from a snow pile and like threw it down on the ground so I could see where the rat was going. And I kind of threw it onto where I put this metal. So the next morning, there was like a hole dug down. So it was trying to get in, it didn't get in. So it's somewhere out, not under my stairs right now, which is good. But I want to kind of take advantage of this. Uh, long story long, watch the other videos. I want to make some sort of a rat trap to catch a live rat. So I'm going to try to make a cage or something like that out of this stuff. We'll see what works. My whole, you know what, I'll explain my whole theory after I make it. Let's, let's just get to it. So this wasn't too bad to make. I mean, it was just with stuff that I had lying around. Now, one thing, the front where I just kind of put two pieces together and used all these little twist ties from the discarded pieces works okay, but I'm not gonna remove the front. The back, it was a lot easier to put it together with just some wire rod going through, kind of holding everything together and really overlapping. This back I made so that I could remove it so that I can empty the trap out or what have you. Might change this design just a little bit just to make it easier. But for now, time is of the essence. Now the success or the downfall of this trap is gonna be the opening. I'm hoping that if I bait the opening a little bit, it's gonna go in and it's gonna be easier to get in than it's gonna get out, meaning it's gonna be more pleasant to go through than to come, You kinda of like a, one of those finger traps. You can easily put your finger in, but you can't pull your finger out. So you just keep pushing forward and then you get stuck in there. And then I'll put bait further down in here to further entice to go inside. I don't really wanna bait because then that's kinda of saying, hey, I have food here. Come eat, come eat. Everybody come in. I don't wanna do that, but I, I need to, at the very least deter whatever's out there not to come here and it's pretty persistent right now or I need to capture it and remove it from the property but really the, the success of this trap like I said is going to be the entry point and hopefully I made it like I said pleasant enough to crawl in unpleasant enough to come out and this I can always change and tweak a little bit as we see what really happens here now I'm going to try to set my trail cam to see if we can get any footage hopefully we can but I have no idea so I think we're pretty much done here for today, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. This really wasn't too bad to build. Now, unless this rat's gonna chew through this stuff, and if that's the case, I got bigger problems than I can imagine. I'm, I'm curious if this is, yeah, I, well, you know, I need to make a handle. Let's do that real quick. Yeah.